this is driverless AI. I can go ahead and log in. I'll take to a screen where I can go ahead and import data sets from any number of sources. We're continually adding to this selection. Once I have my data set, I can ask driverless AI to automatically visualize the data set. It will automatically show me interesting plots on variables of interest automatically. I can navigate through the various plots via carousel. In this particular plot, these are identifying outliers, which I can highlight, select, and see outliers. At any point, if I don't understand a visualization, I can get help. And I can download any plot as a file for later use. Other interesting plots include a correlation graph, which is interactive, showing correlations amongst variables and a heat map which shows exemplar uh, records of the data set. Once I'm done visualizing a data set, I can go ahead and create an experiment by simply clicking predict. I have a train test set. I can select a test set. Select my target column. This is credit card data. I want to predict whether the person will default the next month. I can leave the automatic settings and simply launch the experiment. Driverless AI is intelligent and notices that an ID column is present and automatically drops it. Upper left hand corner describes the data set. This particular data set has 24,000 rows, 25 columns. The upper right hand side are my settings relatively to relative weightings of accuracy, compute time, and interpretability. I'm able to see in real time the metrics of the models being created, different charts, precision recall, lift, gains chart, and GPU usage. This is a four GPU box running in the cloud, running four Volta GPUs. We can see the experiments running continuously and as each, as each iteration of models are being built, we can see the variable importance of the model. When the experiment is done, you'll receive a screen that looks like this, where typically the final model is the best model. You have the option of scoring another data set, transforming a data set, downloading the predictions, both for training and testing, a scoring pipeline in Python, a scoring pipeline in Java, experiment summaries, and logs. We can go ahead and interpret this model. Right. When I interpret this model, I'll get a screen that looks like this. I can do it really on the original features or the transform features. On the original features, you get various diagnostics which show you the interpretability of this model. I can click on a prediction get the local as well as global uh, diagnostics, which includes variable importance, feature importance. I can get reason codes. Okay, so go back here. I have a surrogate model which is uh, a proxy for the full model, as well as the individual paths of that record of interest and a partial dependency plot. I can get this both on the original features as well as the transform features. In the transform case, the feature importance is using Shapley explanations or Shapley explanations. In a more complicated model, we can see that the performance of driverless AI. This was PNB Parabas's claims management prediction Kaggle contest. I'm able to get Kaggle level results on a data set that was 114,000 rows, 133 columns. After running for a little over six hours, I was able to generate 
seven, 17,000 new features and trained 3,000 models. Had I entered this competition, I would have placed in the top 